how to create login form with Session and PHP. Session is quite important in web-based applications. Sessions allow the programmer to store user information semi-permanently, meaning that during certain periods information is stored. Storage of the contents of the session variable resides on the server, so it cannot be accessed directly by the client. In web-based applications, sessions are widely used as login authentication. Sessions allow the programmer to manage who can access a page. For example, to see the mailbox page in the email, we must log in first. In the login process, among others, will occur making a session that will be brought by the user. On each page, on the mailbox page, the session will be checked. If the session is correct, then the user is welcome to open the mailbox page. But if wrong, then the user cannot open the mailbox page and usually will be prompted to log in. First, that is, the user cannot access the mailbox page directly without logging in. In the session handling, there are several processes that need to be considered. Session creation process. Session inspection process. Session removal process. Next, how the session itself is run. In order for the storage process in the session to run, PHP does the following. 1. PHP generates an ID session. This session ID is a random number of random numbers for each user and almost impossible to guess. The session ID is stored by PHP inside the PHP system variable named PHP SESS ID. 2. PHP stores the value you want to store in a session inside a file located on the server. The file name for the session storage matches same with the session ID. Files are stored in a directory indicated by session.save underscore path in the php.any file. 3. PHP throws an ID session into every page. 4. PHP retrieves session values from session files for each session page. Here is an example of a program to create login form using session in PHP. Program 1. File name, session01.php. Description, the program creates session. Type the following PHP code and HTML code into notepad. Less than, PHP. Asterisk 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 file name session o one dot php This page is a sample session creation page. The session underscore start command must be placed in the first command without spaces in front of it. The session underscore start command must exist on every page associated with the session. Asterisk 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 session underscore start if is it dollar underscore post login dollar user equals dollar underscore post user dollar pass equals dollar underscore post pass check login if dollar user equals equals Johans and in dollar pass equals 123. Create session. 
dollar underscore session login equals dollar user goes to the session proofing page echo less than h1 greater than you have successfully logged in less than per hour one greater than echo less than h2 greater than click less than ahref equals session no 2.php greater than here session no 2.php less than a greater than to go to the session proofing page closing curly bracket else greater than less than html greater than less than head greater than less than title greater than login here just then title greater than less than head greater than less than body greater than less than form action equals method equals post greater than less than h2 greater than login here less than per hour 2 greater than username less than input type equals text name equals user greater than less than br greater than password less than input type equals password name equals pass greater than less than br greater than less than input type equals submit name equals login value equals login greater than less than form greater than less than body greater than less than html greater than less than php greater than html and php code save the php code with the name session 01.php in the htdocs folder program explanation 1 in the above program there is a function session underscore start located on the ninth row. The session underscore start function works to start a session. The function must first be called in a PHP page. Meaning that the session underscore start function must be called before something appears on the screen, even if it is just a space. Next, program 1 will display a simple login form on the screen. The form consists of a username form, password and a login button. If the login button is pressed then check condition on line 10 will be true in the command in. Block if will be executed. Lines 11 and 12 are commands to retrieve values on the username and password input form. The username and password value is checked on line 14. Checking this username and password for web applications that already use the database can be replaced by the username and password checking into the database table. At line 16, there is a command as follows. Dollar underscore session login equals dollar user. The command line is a command to create a new session, create session where the session name is login and the contents of the session are dollar user dollar underscore session is a global array variable defined by php so this variable should be written in uppercase next on line 18 to 20 will display a message that the login was successful and also a link to the session proofing page session 02.php program 2 program 2 File name, session 02.php. Description, session inspection program. Type the following PHP code in notepad. Less than, PHP. Asterisk, 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 Asterisk 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 This page is an example of a session check page Session checks are usually performed if a page has limited access for example must log in first 
Asterisk 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 session underscore start session check if is it dollar underscore session login if it is logged displays session contents Echo less than H1 greater than welcome. Dollar underscore session login less than per hour 1 greater than. Echo less than H2 greater than this page is only accessible if you are already. Logged in less than per hour 2 greater than. Echo less than H2 greater than click less than AHREF equals session 03.php greater than here. Session 03.php less than a greater than for logout less than per hour 2 greater than else. Session has no meaning yet login. Die, you are not logged in. You are not eligible to enter this page. Please log in less than ahref equals session 01.php greater than here less than a greater than. Closing curly bracket. Greater than. PHP code. Save the PHP code with the name session 02.php in the htdocs folder. Program explanation 2. Program 2 above begins with a function call session underscore start. This means that in this program page there is a session operation. In line 10 of the above program. There is an examination of the existence of the dollar underscore session login variable by using the is it function. Checking this condition will be true if dollar underscore session login is already formed. If the value is true then block the program line 11 to 14 to be executed and vice versa. If false then block the program line 16 to 17 to be executed. Line 11 to 14 program blocks can only be accessed when the user is logged in correctly. In other words, the section is part of a private limited. To display the contents of session variable can be done as in line 12 program above. Simply by echoing the dollar underscore session login variable. If the user has not logged in, did not pass the login page, or directly access this page, it will display a message that the user is not entitled to enter this page. The die function on line 17 is used to display a message as well as terminate the program, meaning that a command other than die will be ignored. Program 3. File name, session 03.php. Description, the program deletes session. Type the following PHP code in notepad. Less than PHP. Asterisk 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 This page is a logout page where we delete the existing session.
Asterisk 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 session underscore start if is it dollar underscore session login unset dollar underscore session session underscore destroy slash slash Echo less than H1 greater than you have successfully log out less than per hour 1 greater than. Echo less than H2 greater than click less than AHREF equals session 01.php greater than here less than a greater than to log in back less than per hour 2 greater than. Echo less than H2 greater than you cannot now enter the page less than AHREF equals session no 2.php greater than session no 2.php less than a greater than again less than per hour 2 greater than closing curly bracket greater than PHP code Save the PHP code in the htdocs folder named session 03.php Program Explanation 3 Program 3 is an example of a session deletion program. Session deletion is usually used when the user logs in. The session deletion process is performed by calling the unset function in the session underscore destroy function. The unset function is used to remove or remove a variable. While session underscore destroy is used to delete all data associated with the session. Try running the program. Open the browser then type http colon slash slash localhost slash session 01.php. In the address bar then enter. It will look like this. Display form. Form in the contents of username and password. Successfully log in. Welcome view. Successfully log out. Please log in again. That is the tutorial how to create login form with session in PHP which I can share. Hopefully these tutorials can help you and improve our ability in learning the PHP programming. Language. Learn also this tutorial how to upload file using PHP.